What's happening, YouTube? <laughs> update. Electrical update this time. I'm gonna show you how to wire up the universal four wire uh, O2 sensor that the GMs use. Uh, where it goes into the back of the PCM because I cut mine out. Uh, I wasn't gonna run them, but you kind of need them. So bank, it's pretty simple. Bank one, sensor one is the upstream driver side. Bank two, sensor one is the passenger side upstream before the cats basically pretty simple um, now when I had this rigged up on my engine stand I had it, I could have swore I had it different but I looked it up and I saw multiple sources say the way I have them wired up now so I'm gonna flip this whole camera around show you what I'm working with and show you my electrical finagling that I had to do today um, and if you're just joining me consider subscribing Leave a like if you want to, comment. Um, happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there, and happy Father's Day to the single mothers that do both of their jobs. All right, I'll spin this whole thing around. Okay, so it's definitely cleaned up. <laughs> I will say that. Uh, this is a little harness for the tail lights and stuff like that. Goes over to the brake switch. Now this is the PCM power for the injectors, the coils, everything like that. Everything the PCM needs to, that's the PCM right there. Everything the PCM needs power to is this wire right here. Now this is the constant 12 volt source for the O2 sensors. I have it um, two to one inside of here, ran up underneath here. Then these are my two O2 sensors, the harnesses that go down and around and stuff like that. This is the OBD2. Uh, this is pretty simple to wire up. These two black wires, it's going to be solid black and black with white stripe. Those are your grounds, okay? And this purple wire is going to be the serial data that goes right into the purple wire that's into the uh, back of the harness. And then this orange wire is a power source, so I'm going to run a wire to my little fuse block that I got going over there. Now, this is the red pin, and this is the blue pin. Basically, the blue pin is like all of the emissions crap um, and the important stuff. And then this is like the AC, uh, the shift points, all that stuff. So now, if you can see the number seven right there, so you're gonna count back one, number six, and number five, and then on the top, can you see it? Oh yeah, there we go. And then there is the other O2 sensor right there. That one and that one. I have it right down over there. I'll show you. But there's a battery cable right there. That is two gauge uh, running up to the starter. Um, yeah, I just got to get this wired up and mounted. And that's how I'm mounting that. And this is my tachometer coolant tamp, all that lovely jazz. So. So we're over here at the old workbench. Um, yeah, it looks like a kindergartner's drawing. I don't care. So this is what it's gonna look like. That's the tab that you release to take it apart. And then there's a little plastic line in there. It only goes on one way. It'll also be lettered on the thing itself. So if you wanna take a picture of this, go ahead. Okay. So you have A, B, C, and D. A being your low signal. Okay. B being your high, Ooh. C being your ground, and D being your 12 volt feed. Now I just, for the ground, I just cut them short and screwed them into the chassis underneath. Um, so here are the numbers and the coinciding wires for the back of the PCM. So we have number five and number six. Number five is going to be tan, that is the bank two sensor one low signal. Number six is going to be tan with a white stripe. That's going to be bank one, sensor one, low signal. And then 46, right on top of these two, 46 is going to be a purple wire. That's bank two, sensor one, high signal. And then number 47, purple with a white stripe, is bank one, sensor one, high. So that's how you're going to wire those up. So low to low, high to high on this. Uh, this can go for either side, either sensor, as long as you 
coincide the A, B, C, D, or the A, A, and B with these two. So if I want to take a picture of that, I screenshot that crap, that way hopefully I made it easier for you guys. Now this is my switch panel I'm running. <coughs> Engine start is pretty easy. Uh, this is going to be ignition and this is going to be my fuel, fuel pump. Uh, oh dear. So that's pretty much all it is. Pretty simple. Now this, this has numbers on it. This ground is number three. The constant um, 12 volt to the switch is number two, is it? Yes, number two. And then the switch that's gonna run to my starter, or the wire that's gonna run to my starter to start it is uh, gonna be number one. So it's pretty simple. Yeah. Got the quick little update. Um, oh crap, that's right, my fuel system's done. I gotta make another video on that. Boy, was that fun. Oh wait, no I did, sorry. Long day. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how, what my electrical looks like. I gotta cut down that uh, switch panel and put a couple tacks in it and weld it in there. I'm still waiting on that bracket. I should be here this week, showing Wednesday. I'll try to wire up this uh, tail light harness because that's one less thing I have to do. And then once I get that bracket in, I put that bracket on, drive shaft in, check fluids, and I can basically start it. Uh, I just can't really drive it because I'm not gonna have a radiator yet. Still gotta figure that out. If you guys have any suggestions, drop in comments, please. Leave them. But, all right, I will let y'all go. To the next video, like, share, subscribe, comment, like I said, I read all the comments. Um, I do have merch. Just kidding. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, re I watch to see if you guys comment. But alright, y'all. I will catch you on the next time. Peace out.